Hello, my name is Bus and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I present you my long awaited review video of my homemade fitness rack. Let's get into it. We're back above my workshop and here you see a disassembled fitness rack. I will assemble it for you guys and highlight some intricate and hidden parts. First up, I want to show you guys how I made the wooden joints. I made it through mortise and tenon, beautiful hole, beautiful tenon. So first I had to cut the width and the thickness approximately and then I had to work uh, with my chisel to make it perfect. That uh, took quite some time and um, yeah, I have eight of those so it was a very long process but now I know for sure that my fitness rack is stable. For extra safety I made these. It's a little wooden dowel. Although this is a perfect fit and possibly won't ever come loose on its own while using the fitness rack. Extra safety is never harmful. The width of these, the wooden rod I found, yeah. I didn't find a drill that was the same width, so I had to make him smaller. I fabricated a little thingy with, with my chisel so that I could put this on a drill. A little inverse turning table, I, something along the lines like that. So I could make these the distance that I needed it to be. These are perfect fits, so I uh, need my hammer to shove them together because yeah it goes in a little bit but after that you will need to use the hammer and then put this through second highlight for you guys this is for my safety bar so i have the first upright beam where i put my weights on safety bar goes through that and into here it doesn't come through the other side it is three fourth through or something like that and this is very stable, so I don't need a spotter and while you're alone in your fitness, that is very helpful. I also use this as a dipping station and so it has to be very sturdy so it doesn't bend under my weight or the weights I drop on it. You can never take uh, too much safety precautions. So on the front side I have my safety bar that also stabilizes the hole. But on the back side, I've got this metal plate. It just, yeah, nothing too difficult. Just screw it on there. And why did I use metal? Uh, well, I like wood way more than metal. But it was getting quite of heavy because it is a lot of wood. And I wanted to be able to lift it and move it a bit, a bit around because my attic, it's not the biggest place and if I can't get around the one side I just shove it a bit to the side and all is well but yeah, metal it is strong and not as heavy and this wasn't anything too difficult just cut it to the correct length drill a hole in it it took me 20 minutes to take apart and I will show you guys a quick time lapse of me putting it back together and I'll time it, see if it's 20 minutes or if it's faster. I'll do my best to make it as short as possible for you guys. And after that, I have two more highlights.
and just like that uh, it took under 15 minutes to put together so great job I guess I also got these metal brackets for uh, putting weights on and as you can see it's metal uh, I bent it myself on my grandpa's hydraulic press um, obviously it's wide enough for the bar to fit in it has a little curve on top so when you miss your spot while placing it down it slides beautifully in two big bolts so it's very secure and of course I got multiple uh, obviously one on the other side but also one a bit lower for bench press because this is my height for squats I also have a pull-up bar that has multiple functions first of all so these two stay together um, how I did it there's a little screw that goes in on top just like that so it doesn't rotate and it stays together also because of the screws you can take it out and that's how I do my dipping exercise so that was all the highlights I had for you guys now you know all the details on how to make a sturdy fitness rack this build requires some skills in woodworking like using a chisel and if you're not too familiar with a chisel don't worry I will build another one for a friend of mine but with just metal brackets and screws so if this is too difficult for you or you don't want to put in all the time of chiseling perfect tenons don't worry I'll put a tutorial on that as well that's the end of this video uh, I'm sitting on my homemade bench that's that involved a lot more metal than this build um, also made my own fan right now it's winter so I'm not using it but uh, in summer very helpful and uh, so if you guys want a review on my bench and or my fan leave a comment in the description with bench or fan and I'll make a video about that so thank you guys for watching if you like this video please leave a like consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next time